Welcome back everyone, it's Ace the Gaming Assassin, and today we're playing Clash of Clans. So we are in our most epic clan war that we've had in Minimax Savage. We got up, faced up against another level 4 clan, and as you can see up here in the top, it's 134 to 131. We only have a couple guys left to attack, and the only guy we have left who we can start is their number 1. So our leader James is going to hit him, and we're going to record this raid live. So he's coming in with a go wipe. Uh, he's got level 2 golems and a level 3 golem, I think, or level 4 golem in his clan castle. And uh, we're just going to watch. Hopefully he, we can get this 3 star because this, this base has already been 2 starred um, by my wife, actually. It was actually a really, it's the most heroic attack. So we'll watch that in a minute. So he's coming in from the king side. Drop down his jump spell. Rage spell is going good. Yeah, here come the clan castle archers. Rage spells overlap a little much, but that's okay. Um, want to get in there and get this, get this through. I don't know if we can, if we can get the three here from what we're seeing. Let's where are these Pekka's at? Pekka's are on the town hall. They're behind the town hall. Here come the Teslas. So much going on in there. King and Queen working on this center area. There goes the town hall. So uh, he's got one Pekka left alive. His King and Queen over on the bottom right working. Got some wizards behind everybody kind of helping clean it up. Doesn't look like we're going to get the three. Uh, just not enough troops left alive. Um, yeah, we're clans talking. It doesn't look like he's going to get the three. He's going to get a two for sure. Yeah, no, there's no way he can get the three. All Both of his abilities have been used. Um, he's still got several archer towers up, cannons up. Um, all his wizards are down except for one. He's got one golem bang up on a wall up there. Yeah, it doesn't look like a good raid regardless. But that was the last attack that uh, that we could actually get any stars off of. We only need one more star. This, this is the only base that needed to be three-starred. And so all of our top guys... I've already attacked. He was the he was the last top guy to attack and um yeah, so he he did a pretty good job there. That's a nice two star. I mean, uh any other time that would, we'd all be cheering that super, you know, super loud and everything, but we wanted that three star. There we go. Wars ended. I missed the countdown. I was going to count down from 5, but uh uh there we go. Epic win. There we go. We've won. So we are now 47 and 0. So we're going to go up here and we're going to change this. I hate typing on these things. It's so hard. So we're 47-0-0. And we'll we'll add in all the we'll add in all the other stuff later. Um and so yeah, that was our that was our closest fight yet. I mean, uh normally whenever we have a clan war, um it's it's a blowout. I mean, I can go I can go in here and show you our war log. I'm, I've shown in other previous um, videos before, but I mean, look like the one before this one was 128 to 140 to 43, 134 to 18, 135 to 12. I mean, nobody ever really comes comes hard with well, this clan. They're a level four clan, which means that they've been warring since um, since the update came out. And uh, they hit 131 uh, stars, and then they just stopped. Nobody, they had lots of attacks left, and they just stopped. I think they're they're Persian or something. So in the Middle East, so it's probably got to where it was late for them. They went to sleep. They probably thought they had it in the bag because they had us at 131 uh, to 129, and there was only a couple people left for us to star. Uh, number one hadn't been hit yet. Number four needed to be, or no, I'm sorry, number two needed to be. Um, attacked because it only been one starred and then there was a couple people that had uh i'd only been two starred <clears throat> excuse me so um my wife came in here let's go down everybody just alluded after she hit hit this um first you know what let's show james's attack on number two um this this uh, base had already been one starred so we were, he needed to get a two star so he comes in here with a go wipe now, like, same kind of setup two pekkas um three level two golem or four yeah three level two golems and a fourth golem in the clan castle um, these guys all had archers in their clan castles, this clan, um, they're probably used to, um, easy fights because they're all kind of rushed. So they're probably used to fighting clans of, with rushed bases. So they're probably used to not really getting much of a fight. So, uh, we actually came in and gave, gave them a pretty big fight and 
yeah, I mean, it was it was a close one. We we were behind for the majority of the war. Um, this attack right here, James' attack right here, actually put us ahead because we were we would be behind and we'd attack and we tie. We'd be behind, we get we attack and we tie. And so right, they had stopped at one thirty one. Here we were at one twenty nine. Oh, I'm sorry. We were at one thirty. Um, and James did this attack right here, and this put us at one thirty uh two. And so then all that was left to attack after this one was uh that last that ending there with all the troops converging on that last uh, building. So the only one left to attack was number one. And so my wife got online and she's like she was gonna attack somebody else first, but then it got taken, so she said, Well, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do one if it's okay and see what I can do. And she came in with dragons. She came in from the bottom left. And her plan was to let the clan castle troops draw the dragons and the queen as well towards that kind of center area right here across the top of the expo. She had max loons in the clan castle thanks to James. And um, she drops her two rage spells to let all the troops kind of just come together across the, the base. And it kind of works perfectly because all her troops start to converge in and then the archers pull them. And so all her dragons get pulled in except for just a couple down here. All her dragons get pulled in. Uh, on the clan castle troops, then the queen pulls pulls the dragons in, and so then they all hit the rage spell, and all her balloons are already down, but it's, they've taken out the air defenses, they've taken out the expo, so she draws one last rage spell to lead, and then all the dragons jump into that rage spell, um, take out the Tesla, take out that storage, take out that other Tesla, and now it's just a town hall. She's at forty three percent. She drops her king over. She already dropped her king over here, and so she's gonna get the town hall in just a couple seconds. Looks like this dragon's gonna go down, but then last second another dragon flies over to help out. Down goes the town hall. King hit hits the building on the outside, 53% two-star. And she was number 16 in the clan. She's only a town hall seven, and she had level two dragons. And she two-starred that guy. So that was she. That was the most heroic attack, was Rave's most heroic attack. Um, and, you know, so that one got us ahead. That's, that's what put us at 134. Um, and that's where we've been ever since, is 134, 131. So it was an epic... Um, Epic win there. Um, you know, it. that was probably the the funnest war I've had in this clan. I, I love close wars. We were kind of having a debate about that because some of my clan mates were like, no, this, this is too close for comfort. And I love close wars. I think I think it makes them more fun. That's why I, that's why I love um, clan clan wars is the is the close ones. Man, I'm trying to get my clan castles. So there we go. Uh, about a million in loot total that I can collect. So I'm going to go ahead and go collect that. So nice, got my my storage is filling up real good, and um, so yeah, we're gonna already gonna go right into our next clan war. We're searching for a new one. Um, we're taking advantage of that double XP that we're getting uh, until April fifteenth, which I believe is tomorrow. I think it's the fourteenth right now. So we're at twenty five forty five. So if we can get one more war, um, we'll be getting real we're getting real close to that level f uh, five clan perk. So we're looking forward to that. That's that's gonna be real nice. Um, we can get another war with 440 in. That'll put us at 29, uh, 29, what, 29.85? So, yeah, we'll be real close. We'll just need one more war after this one. If if we if we can get the war in. See, that's what we were kind of debating. The The clan perk goes through April 15th is what it says. Where is it, where's it at? I'm trying to remember how to get to it. Settings, news, news. Um, through April 15th. So we're wondering if our clan war is going to be on April 15th. Um, if by chance our clan war ends after April fifteenth, are the are the is the XP gonna drop down after the maintenance break? So we're kind of curious about that. If they if they take will take the double XP away, so we're trying to get one in now, and then if we can start a third uh, another one at tomorrow night, because if we get a, a war here in the next few minutes, then we can start another one tomorrow night before midnight. That's when we're kind of wondering: will we still have the double XP because the war has started, or will it go ahead and drop because of the maintenance break? I'm assuming it's gonna go ahead and just drop down to normal. Because of the maintenance break. But we'll see. So there we go. Um, just a quick video to show our most epic war so far. Um, good job to that other clan that we faced. I wish I knew their name. I, w I wish I had. I wish I could go there and say hi to them. But, but like I said, they're like a Persian clan or something. But hard fought, man. I mean, down to the wire. They they got all of us. I mean, they were they were really skillful in their cleanups. They had a couple of guys they could have cleaned up. They could have max starred us. I mean, there was no way that they shouldn't have been able to max star us. I they just didn't have enough active people. Like you can see, sixty four out of their ninety um, attacks were done. So they just had some people that didn't attack. I kind of went and scouted some of their players. 
um, like through, you know, through their pro, through their visiting their bases. And I saw some of their players had like full collectors and stuff like that. No badges. So they, some people that were inactive, so they didn't have some people attacking in war, but man, hard fought. Um, good job to those guys. Uh, an excellent job, Savage. Uh, all my clan mates, if you guys are watching this video, excellent job, guys. I really do appreciate all your hard work. I'm sure James and the other co-leaders do as well. Let's go ahead and send a mail. Um, excellent war effort. Uh, that was our hardest fought war yet. Is that how you spell fought? Whatever. Fought war yet. And we showed our savage strength. Mini Max for the win. And let's give him a let's give him a strong arm. Ah. Uh, I can't I can't do that. <laughs> War yet. That was oh whatever. That was our hardest <laughs> fought war yet man i just can't type today and we showed our savage strength so we we are a, a family with with savage 7 and so we and a lot of these guys are in savage 7 savage soon savage soonish um and we're not necessarily Uh, we're not necessarily like directly associated, but we are family since a lot of us have accounts that were savage accounts or are savage accounts. So we all we consider ourselves savages. So Minimax for the win. There we go. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are appreciating the content. I know this is just a little bit different video. We're just super pumped for the war win. Um, and I wanted to show James's last attack there for for live. We talked about that for a few minutes, and. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are liking the content. I have a lot of new subscribers that have just kind of come out of the out of nowhere in the past couple weeks, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Tell your friends, tell your clanmates, everybody. I would really love to reach a uh, hundred subscribers here really soon. I'll, I can do a hundred subscriber special after that. Hopefully, we'll keep on growing as fast as we've been growing, and I'll keep trying to put out the content as quick as possible. Um, I'm trying to do a couple a week. It's just really hard with my personal life and, and work and stuff, but I'm trying to do my best. So if you guys have any suggestions for some series, please let me know. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like, all that kind of stuff. Um, and subscribe if you're watching and you haven't already. I really appreciate your subscription. And let me know that I'm doing a good job. So anyways, like always, guys, have a blast playing Clash. We'll see you next time for the next video. Later.